Hey guys, so thank you guys so much for watching my video. I forgot to film an intro, but I just want to say hey, and yeah, I think I lost my intro when I was recording this, so hope you guys enjoy. See you guys. Hip, hip. Okay guys, so pretty much we're going to talk about the one, the only, Oprah. Now, Oprah is my inspiration for many many reasons number one she's just a good person all together she's just such a great inspiration and i feel like she has opened my eyes to like spirituality and things like that like finding your spiritual self and manifestation things like that like when i was younger like 10 11 years old maybe i had got like my first phone my first actual touch screen phone because before I only had flip phones and that's whatever story so I made a gmail account and I had my own little phone and things were, uh, I used to watch a lot of Oprah back then with my grandma so I would just watch lots of lots of Oprah and her show is very informative some of the stories are really sad but you can tell she's really genuine about the people and she's not just doing it to make money or things like that you know she's really genuine on helping people not just so for like helping them financially but helping them mentally and not say that's a bad thing but like helping them understand and find themselves and understand their stories and getting them like recognized for going through those stories and things like that she's also a leader she's a very much a leader and the reason why she's my inspiration is because i see I see a lot of qualities that she has that I want myself. You know, I want to be a leader. I like to think I'm very generous. I mean, yeah, I like being generous. I like helping others. And also, she is a businesswoman. We love that. We love that. She started her own network. She literally built her empire from the bottom, from the bottom up. She worked really hard to get what she was. And that's what I want to do. I don't want to just get famous off social media or anything like that. I want to work from the bottom up to get where I want to be. That way you can you can enjoy the journey. And then when you get there, it's like, wow. But also remember that anything can be taken away from you in a second. So you, you, you know. And she she's really good at helping others. I love helping others. Like, let me tell you. I have my fair share of helping others. I was in... I was in this club helping hands and whatnot. I was in some other clubs. I love organizations where I can help people and things like that. But this is not about me. It's about other people. <laughs> Tell my life story. So next is one of my favorite YouTuber creators. I have a few favorite YouTuber creators, which is Eileen, which her channel is called Alabadera. So the reason why I watch her videos is because they're more law of attraction and meditation based. She pretty much teaches you how to be better you. She's very calm about it. She makes a very calm approach when it comes to her videos. She takes, I know she takes a good amount of time. She takes time out to really focus on her videos and discuss her topics. And she's also an entrepreneur herself. She's a blogger as well. And she makes these books. It's like planners with like law of attraction and things like that. And they're really pretty really cool books and she's just a blogger and a youtuber creator and she's been to like a lot of places and she's like really good inspiration because she's like she worked her way to travel and things like that and one of my goals is to travel around the world which i really want to do which would be really fun and she also has a podcast our podcast is a really good podcast i totally recommend listening to it i forgot what it's called i'm pretty sure it's oh my gosh i can't remember i think it's something um Something, I think it's something along the lines of, something with Eileen, I'm pretty sure. I forgot what it is, but it's a really good podcast, and I listen to it sometimes. Really good podcast. She's also positive and optimistic as well, you know, very positive, very optimistic. She doesn't really care what other things, thinks. She's very carefree, you know, very cool personality. Next, we have another creator, which is Alana Blakely. I just started watching her, like, a year ago or so. I found her on my um, recommendations. And she's a really cool content creator. I really like her videos because when you watch them, they're, like, very creative. 
and just like she takes a lot a lot of time editing and like doing things for her videos and her videos are very well thought and well put together and very creative and it's like she when you watch her videos you feel a sense of calmness and curiosity because her videos actually say some facts and it also tells you about reality it gives you somewhat of a reality check of what you're doing she has really good videos my favorite video by her is when she um meditated every day and she told her experience and how it helped her feel more well grounded and things like that really good video she also has helped me discover like new things like you know like traveling and things like that and also she is this really cool she hangs out with a lot of people she like i think she has a podcast if i'm not mistaken i'm pretty sure she does really good um youtuber as well like this really good youtuber all together yeah that's all i have to say about that i can't i like i'm trying to figure out ways to describe these people but it's like i'm trying to at the same time i am but it's it's not hard it's just i don't know what to say because just they're all somewhat of the same personality type way or whatever if that makes sense next we have my favorite literal favorite content creator on youtube leora alexandra now now we or i listen to her and i watch her videos I found her YouTube channel like when I was in 8th grade, so about like 3 years ago now, and I liked her videos. Really informative, very inspirational, very motivating, you know, I like one of her series on her channel called Manifestation Monday, where she like talks about how to manifest things and you know, and she teaches, she gives you like one goal of the week, and she also uses the bowls to like give happiness, spirituality, things like that. I'm not sure what the bowls are called. I think they're just called singing bowls, if I'm not mistaken. I think they're just called singing bowls. Or like the Kana Mantra. I think I'm saying that completely wrong. But anyways. She's all about being happy and, you know, having blessings or whatnot. You know, she talks about people's stories. And that motivates other people to want to manifest and do things as well. Make vision boards. I actually have a vision board. It's really cool. Actually, it's actually right there. You guys probably can't see it. I'll probably show a little clip in here. But I have a vision board. And she has inspired me to make my own vision board. As well as some other people. But really good creator. Um, she's really calm in approach. She she doesn't like let people talk what to do. And she follows what she wants to do. And that's really, really cool. I really like that about her because she she doesn't really she doesn't take anything from anybody she doesn't she works for it all she doesn't take crap she does everything you know um she tells you what you should and shouldn't do but she's not gonna not stop you in a sense if that makes sense and she's good at helping you finding yourself at your true core like her videos inspire you because she talked about finding yourself in her true core self and not being sucked into this reality of the world and just being your own person. Next is one of my favorite singers. I'm waiting for the next album to drop. I'm super excited. I love the makeup brand, but I probably will not be able to afford that for several years or so or something like that. I don't really makeup like that anyway, but it'll be really cool to have Rihanna. Now, the reason why is because she has a great style. Like you, like that one picture of her in the Grammys, or I think it was the Grammys or award show, or whatever. And like everybody just has cameras around her, and she's just there. And like no one can't tell you what to do because they're just taking photos of you, and you're just wearing that nice dress. She's literally my spirit animal. And I say that to a lot of people, but she's like me a little bit. The reason why is because she's really funny. Really funny. She's not afraid to speak her mind. Like. I'm the type of person who's very quiet, but like if I have something to say, I'm gonna say it. You know, I'm just gonna be kind of nonchalant about it, especially when I'm in school. Like I'll speak my mind a lot. She has a great style. She's very honest. Like if she doesn't like you, I keep saying like. I'm sorry. She doesn't. If she doesn't, if she's not fond of you or something, she'll tell you, or she just look at you sort of bad way or whatever. I think she's very funny. Her music is amazing. Really good singer. 
she is very fierce. She knows what she wants. She's like a lion. I'm more of a turtle. If you ever took that test, so like you had to figure out what animal you were, I'm a turtle. No, I'm not. I'm a chameleon. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if I was a lion or chameleon. I think I was a mix of both. I think. Anyways, <laughs> she's she's very like professional and poised in her ways that she acts. You know, very like. She doesn't want to be bothered, but she also knows that she has to be professional and things like that. She's very strong-willed, like, very, very strong-willed. And I feel like I'm strong-willed, but not enough. Like, I'm strong-willed, but I'm not strong-willed enough, if that makes sense. And besides, she has great music. I'm ready for the album, her next album, whenever she makes one. I am ready. She did a song called Party Next Door. I mean, it's okay, but, like, I'm ready for some new music anyways so when i looked at all this and i was making my little thing of what i was going to talk about in this video my writing's kind of bad i know and i drew all these because i got bored so <laughs> anyways when i was reading all this and i was coming to see why all these people are in inspirations i thought about it so i wrote this down they build in their own businesses they're very creative and very outgoing some of them are very very outspoken some of them are very calm and quiet like i am um they're all entrepreneurs and they're all very hard workers and they're very like they they work what they want you know for example i may not want to open up a makeup brand but i sure do want to do something along the lines of skincare one day have my own skincare line that's really one of my dreams is to do i always want to do that so like i see myself and all these people and there's many reasons why and but when it comes down to figuring out why i thought about it it's like these people are somewhat sort of the same they're all very nice and very calm like all of them are very calm they speak very calmly very outspoken they know how to keep themselves in a c composure in a way like some people don't have composure but these people do i don't even know if i'm using the right word i better be i'm taking ap world or something next year anyways yeah so that is it for today's video those are my top wait yeah five inspirations i'm sorry guys math's not my favorite subject but i'm good at it i just had to count so anyways those are my five inspirations if you guys have any inspirations i would like to know who they are and like why they didn't hear inspirations i don't know this is as detailed i don't want to keep the video too long it's literally been 12 minutes since I've been filming, so it's not gonna be, it's gonna be some editing for me, but I'm still trying to find an editing app. So while we're still here and have, I'm gonna talk for a few minutes. I know, I don't, I know, I talk for a long time. So I might upload, I said I was gonna upload every Friday. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I'm not gonna make any promises. My banner says uploads every Friday. I'm not gonna make any promises about that. It may be Friday. Maybe Saturday, maybe Sunday, somewhere around there. Just know that for a fact. It's going to be between those three days. Um, and then I'll try to film Monday through Thursday, but I do have school. I mean, I only do two hours of school, but I just watch YouTube and I watch LOL Jason. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video of me talking about my inspirations and why they are. So, yeah, this is my camera is telling me that my time's almost up because it gives me a time limit, so I need to make this fast. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in our next video.